doubt will keep me tied to this town. Ain't it obvious? It's so obvious. No fear, no amount will keep my roots stuck in this ground. Ain't it obvious? I think we gotta go. I think I gotta go. I think we gotta go! I think I gotta go! I think we gotta go! <laughs> My back's out. My back is broke. Spinal. <laughs> So, <clears throat> I've been like really, really focused on not hurting it. Every year, around Black Friday, oh my God, Friday, um, it's stressful, right? And I think there's a mixture of stress and then mixture of me like pushing myself really hard, even though I feel like I'm not. I don't feel stressed and I don't feel like I'm pushing myself hard, but it never fails. Just my back's keep. So this morning when I was putting on my jacket at 5.17 a.m., you saw me do it. I was like, I swung my jacket up around and I was like, and it, you know, it's never doing anything. It's never doing anything. It's like always putting on a jacket or reaching down to tie my shoes. Anyway, we are <clears throat> going to buy a trailer. Um, none of my trailers are big enough to fit Dana's uh, Raptor on it. So if you guys don't remember Dana's Raptor, it randomly started having an issue around uh, under 70,000 miles with the trans, like the trans was like grinding, but the Ford dealership around here couldn't find a problem with it. And so they just kept saying like, oh, there's nothing that we can, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, after it was out of warranty, that's when they identified that we needed <clears throat> a brand new transmission. So. There's also scoring, a little bit of scoring in the cams. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, we've taken it to the local Ford dealership a bunch of times. So I'm gonna put it on a fucking trailer and I'm gonna send it to fucking Idaho. But first we need to go buy another trailer because, you know, what's better than having trailers? Paperwork? I don't really do paperwork or license plates or anything like that. I think people that are overly concerned about registering vehicles or having license plates or inspections are really lame. Uh, my back's really fucking great. Listen, she's just an old used trailer. I have like 15 trailers, but I don't have a gooseneck. But I'm not really gonna use a gooseneck that much. So I don't really need to spend 30 grand on a gooseneck. 30 grand? No, so I spent 11. But these are 30 grand new. Or you can get an old beat up one for 11 grand. So I went with the old beat up one. There's some money in these trailers, huh? Oh yeah, dude. The I was looking at that one over there. It was like 37. It's crazy. Trailers are expensive. Are you going to rent this thing out? No. It's only 11 grand. I mean, not only 11 grand. It's still a lot of money, but it's 98. They hold their value. It will not never, unless I smash it. We need to loosen these, which these are frozen, because we're in Montana and everything's frozen right now. We need to loosen these and bring them up to here, probably. I have to like use this one a little bit first to prove it to myself that I actually need it. I like having things. One of the biggest things I try to, cause I, you know, I started buying watches a little bit and stupid shit like that. But dude, anytime I have an excuse to buy like heavy equipment, trailers, anything that can help me be more self-reliant, I buy that. And the cool thing is a lot of times tax wise, it's pretty nice, you know? Do you ever tell Dana like, hey, I want to Well, what would Bobcat. I want for Christmas? Yeah. Actually, if you see that Kubota over there on tracks, cause I got the Bobcat, but it's on wheels. But so like right after the sign, there's that lift, and then there's that brand new Kubota. I want that for Christmas. You think she'll spend 90 grand on a, on a skid steer for me? For, she would, too. Like, Dan, I want that for Christmas. She'd be like, all right. And 
then she's gonna say that she wants a horse. How does this work? I was like, I don't know. Not too shabby. Got registration on the dash. Straight on. Just up a little bit more. Good. See you later, Raptor. Well, that's it. So we got the Raptor loaded up. Actually, it looks pretty cool up there. I do, I like that truck a lot. So we're gonna send it out, fix it, or see what's wrong with it, see what we do. Uh, it might end up being my daily. Who knows what we're gonna do with it. But the first step is figuring out what the fuck's wrong with it. I think the overalls. I like the overalls. You like the branding on them? Yeah. These are like sample patches, but we're gonna have some better patches. I'm wearing them on my dirt bike. Yeah, they're definitely, dude, they're fucking, this summer, it's, I'm just no shirt underneath, just like, duh, 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 duh. Last year, this time of year, you had a full team doing this? Yeah. Do you think you made more progress this year with, with less people? Yeah. Yeah, I think we've made way more pro So, yeah, last year we had, because this year it's just me. Um, last year we had seven more people here, plus me. So eight people on the creative team. Now it's just me. Last year, you, did, you didn't even really touch a camera though, right, during Black Friday? <sighs> so last year, I didn't touch a camera during Black Friday. Um, but I did realize like, by the time Black Friday got here, how disorganized the team was. Like we had a lot of content, but we had nothing edited. We had nothing saved. We had nothing to post. Um, it was really, really, really strange. We, there was a lot of mismanagement of time and stuff like that. So I think we're, we're in a better place this year. Um, I think from a design standpoint, we have stronger designs. I think the execution's really good. I'm putting in three times as many hours, but um, I think one thing that I'm always reminded is like, no one's ever gonna love your company as much as you do. So I think that I just always try to remember, my, remind myself that like, if I hire somebody to do it or, or whatever, they're, they're never gonna put you know, just never gonna put the same amount of love into something that you would put into it yourself. You know, like, I'm not just shooting a sweatshirt here, I'm shooting a, a sweatshirt that started 15 years ago in my garage that broke me out of like the nine to five and has made all my dreams come true. Like this brand has touched hundreds of thousands of fucking people. It means something and it was created in a garage. Think how much this fucking, as simple as it is, sweatshirt has shaped my entire life and how it's gonna shape my entire life for the rest of it. So to me, it's not, this isn't a sweatshirt, man. It looks like we're just shooting a sweatshirt that says fucking progress over everything on it, but it's so much bigger than that to me. And I just don't think that you're ever gonna like find employees that feel that as much. So like, I'm not trying to flex and say that you know, we're, we're in a better place this year. It's just, I'm putting more of my love back into it. And it just feels so fucking right. Black Friday, is this? Um, that I've done? Yeah, have you done one every year since you opened? Yeah. Um, 14, I think. It used to be like a big event. I remember watching the videos. I mean. Like everyone was in house. Yeah. And the computers would always crash. Yeah, I think uh, it used to be like that. I mean, I think just like the, fundamentally, I had this conversation with a friend today. Fundamentally, I think that one, um, work ethic is changing a little bit and Two, I think that everyone wants to work on their own. You know what I mean? Like, 
No, I think when everybody works, it's so easy to go out and make like a couple thousand dollars a month on your own. So I think that everybody like, that's what we're all running into now is like everyone wants to be a freelance guy and stuff like that. So, but the thing is, like I can go by like emotion or I can go by actual numbers and like we're up with less people. It'll be me, Drew, Dana will be there. And I put a, um, I put sort of a, like a call out to anybody else this morning in the meeting. I was like, well, everyone has off, but if anybody wants to show up, they can. What are you guys gonna do? What do you mean? Like, what do you do on Black Friday since the sales are just coming in? Uh, well, we have to make sure nothing breaks, right? And then it's a lot of answering, it's answering questions mostly, because everyone's very like, it's just a lot, right? Everybody feels like this big urgency to buy. And the one thing about buying apparel online is it's fucking hard, right? You don't know what fits you, what doesn't. Um, I think in a store, when you try something on in a store, you can tell if it fits or not really quick. But when, and you know, new items that don't have reviews. So we need to be there for the customer as much as, much as we can and answer the questions and you know, it's just a lot of that. It's a lot of like catching things we might have missed and then trying to answer as many questions as possible. What's with the, I will never fail me. That's new. Yeah. The me. I will never fail me. That's from one of my songs. Um, I, I think a lot of, this is hard for me, right? So branding wise in, mark, in the marketing world, um, in the marketing world, you want to make you want to build a family, right? You want to build a, like you see a lot of other brands really play into like the family and, and like you're part of something. And I've never needed that, right? I don't need a family. I don't need other people to feel like I'm part of something. Like I've never been, somebody wanted to join a gang, right? Um, so everything I've ever, put on a shirt has always been first person. Like this is me, it's self-reliance, relying on myself. So I feel like, you know, even on my music, it's all first person, right? It's that inner dialogue I have with myself and I will never fail me, right? Like I know my goals, I know what I have to do, I know who I wanna be, I know where I wanna be in life and I don't wanna fail myself. I think a lot of other brands take the, the bigger route, which it's like, we're family or, or whatever. And I've just never needed that, right? I understand that people need that, but I think that's what our apparel reflects. Like very, very lone wolf. They're not interested in telling you their fuck ups. Like, I don't know. I feel like all the value is in from what I fucked up. Right. Like I, we can sit around and play like successful all fucking day, and I am successful, but like most of that's just been real, like luck and hard work, which doesn't really transfer right. really well. So it's like cool, let's wipe away luck and hard work, like everybody knows that shit, and let's turn to like what have I fucked up in the last 15 years of making giant mistakes? Whether it's been working with friends, whether it's been whatever it is, but like. I have a lot of mistakes in there that I can save people a lot of fucking money. Right. You heard me? Uh, I'm feeling good, I'm just getting tight. <sighs> that's... That's like an... Uh, I've been in a lot of Ubers. And when I drive in the Ubers, I generally don't tell people anything about myself. I just, I like to just be like, man, I'm a designer. Um, but every once in a while, I, I, I sort of say all the things that I do. And I've noticed there's this really sad thing that happens sometimes. And it's people say, oh, I used to do that. Or, oh, I had an idea like that. Or when I was younger, you know, I think maybe that's what it comes down to. It's just the I was younger thing. Like, oh, I used to have so much money or, you know, the women or whatever. And it's sad. 
Because at some point in time, like, what the, if you had all the things, why would you let them go? Why wouldn't you just keep improving and getting better? Like, what's that point where you just give up? Okay. I look like a bag of sausage. You look like that. A bag of sausage. Yeah, way cooler without the sweatshirt. There you go. There you go. That was fun. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty close. I was trying to. Yeah, that's... yeah you were pretty hit close. Hit you on the butt or something. Oh, good. That'd be nice. Just still. Am I doing this right? Yeah. That's a great TikTok. Yeah. And look, you're tired. It's a great TikTok. Yeah. That was pretty, uh, yeah. that was a, the right amount. That was the right, right amount. That was right. Yeah, right. Successful day. Nothing exploded. No one got hit. The car started, which more than I can say about most of my vehicles. First try. No. Trust the old Nissan. This is like no. stock. <laughs> this isn't stock. I mean, it's got a weld of diff at least, right? <laughs> Some <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What's that I, I paid extra for that. This car's treated you very well. Yeah. All right, Black Friday. We're out here. I'm doing like a little, just a fun little art installation thing. Um, so essentially when I shoot, Photos, I shoot them a couple different ways. First way is lifestyle, which we do out and about, right? I'll do gym, which I also consider lifestyles. I do my lay flat photos, which I do over here on this, and I normally use a mix of these two lights. And for Black Friday, I just want like a different look. So built out this kind of fun wall, right? I bought this, this mesh here. I got some lights on it and uh, just sort of doing my thing, like enjoying styling product up there. Uh, we got a bunch of different fleece releasing. We got this progress over everything. This is sort of the one thing I always come back to, which is progress over everything. Just the reminder that like, man, we got to get better every single day. So doing that, shooting, 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 really enjoying myself. Really, really enjoying myself this Black Friday. Um, very minimal help showing up. I got my boy Brandon showing up to help. I got Dana and my brother, but outside of that, kind of uh, on the creative front, pretty lonely out here. Uh, I, we got a marketing director, but he's remote. He's crushing, but big empty warehouse, which is realistically what I dreamed of when I was a kid. It's nice and quiet. <laughs> 